good looking? So are you looking at working your posture? Do you want to get rid of the rounded shoulders or perhaps you've been told by your physio that you need to work on your posture? Then this is the workout for you. Grab a pair of light dumbbells, so a pair of threes or fives and a mat and let's go get warmed up. this is a posture workout now this workout is especially for my patreon peeps all the ladies there they wanted a posture workout and so I'm delivering put your dumbbells off to the side we are going to get ourselves warmed up before we start with the workout so let's start with some shoulder rolls take them backwards oh yeah last four one more, excellent. Now from this position, I want you to take your chin, okay, and slide it in towards you and then bring it back to neutral. So start by placing your hand and your pointed finger, your pointer finger, right on the sternum and pointer finger straight up. So that's gonna give you that cue as to what neutral is for you. Now pull the chin in and release. In and release. I recently read that if we have a slight forward head posture, even by as little as three centimeters, it adds an extra 40 plus pounds to the neck and shoulders. That's like the equivalent of three watermelons, three good sized watermelons. That's a lot of pressure for our poor little necks and shoulders. So it's no wonder a lot of us have neck and shoulder pain. So this here, this chin tuck move is a really good one, especially if you have what we call computer neck or tech neck, where you're always on your phone or always sitting in front of a computer. Last four, three, two, one more, one. Chin back to neutral, bring the ear to shoulder, back to center, other side. Try to just move the neck, not the whole body, okay? So it's just the ear to shoulder. Rest the body, fairly stationary. I've been really looking forward to this workout because speaking of tech neck and computer neck, I have been sitting in front of my computer for hours on end, working on my new website, <laughs> and my shoulders and my neck, even my wrist from the computer mouse are killing me. Last four. One more east side. Big arm circles now, go backwards, make them big. Exaggerate the motion. So wherever you're at, I want you to see if you can now make them bigger. Circle right back. Great. Another 10 seconds here and then we will start the workout. shake it out. All right, for our first move, you will need those light dumbbells as well as a mat. Okay, I'll show you the two moves and then we are going to get going. We have two sets of each move, about 40 seconds on the clock. First move, we want to hip hinge. So what that means is, and maybe join me on this, is give me a slight bend of the knees, feet hip width apart. Now place the hands at the very top of the thigh. So like right where the groin is. Now, Fold yourself over that hip hinge there, over the hands, and that's a neutral spine. So see that? Hip hinge out. What we want to avoid is this, right? That's bad posture. I don't want to train you in bad posture. I want to train you in good posture. So that, that defeats the whole purpose of this workout. So let's get ourselves that hip hinge, okay? Hands are underneath the chest, elbows are slightly bent. We're flying up, pulling the shoulder blades together, really emphasizing that shoulder blade pull. So let's give it a try. Ready? Pull up. Good. Now give me a slight chin tuck in. So remember that chin tuck we did in warm up. So give me about half of that. So we've got a neutral neck. Pull in the abdominals. So we're working hard into the core, not feeling the low back. Maybe a little fatigue, but no pain. And if you have neutral spine, there shouldn't be. There's no stress on the spine. We are keeping the vertebrae in a neutral position. 
Hands are ending under the chest, not the belly, so slightly ahead of you, not close to your thighs. Breathe. You should feel this in the shoulders and in between the shoulder blades. Tie. Dumbbells off to the side. Wrists under shoulders. Let's get into a high plank. Now join me right away because I'm going to cue you through this as we go. All right, feet apart. Hold the high plank. Now keep the arms straight and push the shoulder blades apart, pushing the ground away from you. And now pull the shoulder blades together. Give me a slight chin tuck and now here we go. Protract, retract. This is an awesome shoulder move. If you need to modify, on the knees, right? Just the same as a normal modification for a high plank. Nothing in the elbows. This is all coming through the scapula. Keep those abs engaged. Shoulder blades pull together, squeeze them. Now push them apart. Time. If you had a hard time with that, don't fret. A lot of people do, and we've got another round, so we can really perfect that. All right, hip hinge, hands under the chest, elbows bent, slight chin tuck, flying the arms up, squeezing the shoulder blades together, keeping those abs engaged. So this move here hits all those mid-back muscles to help pull the shoulders back and down. Slight chin tuck in, not allowing that head to bob forward. Time, on the ground. Feet apart, hands on the mat behind you. Here we go, squeeze the booty, lift up, full bridge, and down. So really use the glutes here, 
And if you're tight like me across the shoulders and shafts, when you get near the top, you are really going to feel that across the front of the body. Angle your fingertips away from you too. It makes it easier on the shoulders. Now believe it or not, we also need to focus on our glutes here when we think about posture. Time. Alright. It's all connected to the human body. It's a beautiful machine, our bodies. Here we go, arms up, feet apart, and squat. I once had a hamstring injury and he had to work my mid-back and it fixed my hamstring. Crazy, right? <laughs> but yeah, that's the way our body works. It's not like a car where it may be just your starter or maybe it's your battery. No. If one area is affected in your body, sure as hell, something above it is what's affecting it. Time. All right, get your stuff down. Feet apart. Okay, last set of reverse bridge. Ready, set, and lift. Feel the glutes on this? I hope so. Really squeeze the bum as you get up to that top part. Like I said, my goal is to hit everything that could affect your posture, and one of them are weak glutes. Time. All right, taking ourselves down into a bridge pattern and a Y raise. So you probably will need a mat for this if you're on a hard surface like me. Let me show you what the Y raise looks like. Okay, Arms out in the letter Y or V. Thumbs pointed up. Okay, We want the shoulder and external rotation. Slight chin tuck in. And then from here, we simply lift the arms straight up. Tuck the toes into the mat to neutralize the pelvis. And it's just shoulder movement here. Deal? Deal. Secondary move. On the back, toes up. Drive the hips up, working the booty again, and into your low back with a bridge pattern. Here we go. Let's get set up. On your stomach, tuck your toes in, grip that mat, that's important. Extend the arms in the letter V, thumbs up, chin tuck in, and now just lift the arms up. So don't look up, okay? Once you've seen the move, I really want you to give me a chin tuck and just stare down at your ground. I know, it's super boring, and who knows, maybe it's dirty, but it's safer for your neck. Try to lift your arms as high as you can, keeping the chest, the head, and the feet on your mat. Tie. Flip on over. Our knees are bent, toes are up, elbows by our side, palms off your ground. Drive the hips up and then a little higher and slowly lower till your bum just touches the mat and then you're back up again. One more of each coming up. Time. Here we go. Tuck your toes in. Extend the arms. Thumbs up. Letter V or Y. And lift.
time. On the back, spinal set of bridges. Ready? Squeeze the booty and lift up. the next two moves. Let me demo and then away we go. This time the arms are up, palms are down, lifting the upper and the lower body while we slide the elbows towards our rib cage and then extend them and lower. Once you've seen the move, I want that slight chin tuck so you're not looking up, okay? Secondary move, plank either from the knees or full plank from the toes. Here we go, get set up. Legs down, down, arms extended, palms are down on this one, chin tucked in, now lift everything up, slide the elbows in towards the rib cage and extend down and lower. Now I don't have a big lift on this one. My back extensions are very weak, I'm working on it. So if you're looking at me going, she's not doing anything, <laughs> I am! <laughs> I'm lifting as high as I can. This is what happens when we get older. We don't pay attention to our backs. We lose that extension, that ability to extend back. So I'm working on mine. Time. Whew. And that is one move that can help you work on yours. All right, plank. Elbows under shoulders. See if you can get the wrists and the elbows lined up. Lift up and hold. Neck in line with the spine. Remember that slight chin tuck? <laughs> I know. PJ, you sound like a broken record. I'm sorry. Woo. So once again, when we think posture, we think more than just our shoulders and our upper back muscles. Here, we are thinking core our deep abs, our shoulder stabilizers, our hips, everything's fired up. And release. All right, extend the arms, second set, chin tuck in. Here we go, lift everything up, elbows slide down. for me for the last series of moves. Side plank with a side arm raise. If you're just starting out, you can use your body weight, use gravity as opposed to the dumbbell. All right, elbow under shoulder for me. We'll stay on that bottom knee, lifting up into that side plank. From there, dumbbell is in front of the chest, almost in front of this opposite hand. We're lifting up and slowly lowering. Okay? All right, let's get set up. Elbow under shoulder. Lift the hip. Good, nice high, solid looking plank. And lift up, just to shoulder height. Don't, or sorry, in line with the shoulder. Don't go behind the shoulder. Slow and controlled on the way down. If this gets too much, get rid of the dumbbell. As I said, work against gravity with the body weight of your arm.
Feel that bottom arm? Yeah, baby. Done. All right, other side. Now, if you find you can maintain your form and do a full side plank, go for it. Here we go. Lift up. Elbow under shoulder. And lift that arm up. Again, take a peek. We just want that hand to line up with the shoulder. We're controlling the movement the entire time, not allowing that arm to just kind of whip back behind us. So if you find your posture is something you really want to focus on, I recommend this workout once a week and then do the other total body workouts I have on the channel. I focus a lot on posture in all my workouts because I want to make sure your setup is proper. So you're in good hands if this is one of your goals, improve your posture. Time. All right, we are 40 seconds away from some beautiful, wonderful stretches. Ready, go. We're gonna finish off with some posture specific stretches that you're gonna love. In fact, you may just fast forward this whole workout next time just for what we're about to do. <laughs> I hope you don't, because <laughs> we need to put this work in too. But these series of stretches I wanna flow you through are wonderful for the upper body. start that stretch series. Okay, I've changed locations of my camera. I need you to change locations too. I need you to find a door frame for the first series of stretches we're performing. First one, both elbows up against the door frame at shoulder height. So take a peek, okay? Then from here, allow your upper body to fall forward slightly with that chin tuck and feel that amazing stretch across the front of the body. So I mentioned during the workout that quite often our posture muscles are weak and the opposing muscles, the muscles in the front of the body are tightened because we have this posture, we're on our computers, we're on our phones, we're driving, everything is forward, creating this tightness here. So we need to open that up when we're thinking posture. So this is one fantastic, easy stretch to do. All you need is a door frame. Now release one arm for me. We're gonna go a little deeper into each side, okay? Bring the elbow up a touch higher now, so a little higher than shoulder height. Lean forward slightly. Now look over the opposite shoulder and hold. I highly recommend if you're stuck at a desk due to your job or if you drive a lot, get these stretches in throughout the day. Your spine will love you for it. And shoulders too. Release, other side. Again, start shoulder height and then come a little higher. Now we'll lean forward and look over the other shoulder. This is my tight side. Yeah, and you know why? I know why it's tight too. This is my computer mouse arm. It's a huge difference between the two. Release. All right, I'm changing the angle of the camera. The next series of stretches are on the mat. Moving into a fantastic stretch that if you've ever been to physio for shoulder pain, they might've got you to do this one. Side line, top leg is in front. You want the knee and ankle aligned. Get yourself set up, join me. 
Arm extended, palm up. Now take the other palm and place it on top. From this position, lift this top hand, bring it behind you, follow the hand with your gaze, and then back to center. We'll do six of these, and then we'll hold on the seventh one. So they call this open book. Again, getting into that front of the body, getting that rotation into the spine. Now this one, lift and hold it. Turn your gaze to that hand and hold. Hand back to center and release. Other side, I'm just gonna roll to my other side so I don't have my back to you. Top leg, knee and, knee and ankle. Knee and hip aligned, bottom arm lined up with the shoulder, palm up, other palm on top of it, other leg straight and open book. Follow your gaze, follow your hand with your gaze. This time, hold it, turn the gaze, breathe. Fall the hand back, roll onto the stomach, elbows underneath the shoulders, pull the shoulders down, look up, and hold. Modified Cobra from yoga. Getting that extension in the spine that, as I mentioned earlier, we tend to lose as we age. Pulling the shoulders down, so thinking of my shoulders away from my earlobes, pressing the chest up, and breathe. Two more breaths. Press back, thread right arm underneath you, land on that shoulder, side of the head on the mat, and if you're able to, extend the other arm and hold. Release. Other arm, thread it under, hold. Release, all fours. Fingers light behind the ears, bring the elbow, touch the inside of the other elbow, and then rotate, look up, do it again, two more. Release, wrist under shoulder, other hand behind the ear, elbow to inside of the other elbow, rotate, look up. Back to center, come off the hands, right leg, ankle ahead of the knee, lunge forward, tuck the tailbone under, interlace the hands, place them behind the head, creating a hammock for the head, drop the head into the hands, open the elbows up, and breathe.
Release the hands, straighten that front leg, chest over thigh, lengthen into the hamstring. Now rotate onto your side, sit back on your heel and hold. Getting a stretch into the adductors there. Yes, believe it or not, your inner thigh can play havoc on your posture. Remember, it's all connected. Lift up, other leg, left leg, ankle ahead of the knee, lunge forward, tuck the tailbone under. This time, I want you to interlace the hands, palms facing up, shrug the shoulders back and down, and then as much as you can, pull the arms away from the body, look up a bit. Release the arms, straighten that front leg, chest over thigh. Oh my goodness, my hamstrings are tight. My whole body is basically screaming at me, telling me I need more yoga. <laughs> I should really listen to it. Come to the side, inside of the foot on your mat, sit back on your heel. You want more of a stretch, really walk that leg away. Keep the chest lifted, we're not rounding. Breathe here. Really sitting cross-legged or on your heels, whatever feels most comfortable for you. Arms down by your side, give me that chin tuck, right ear to shoulder, walk the other arm away a bit, feel that nice length happening into the neck. Now rotate the chin in towards that shoulder and hold. Back to center, reset, left ear to shoulder, walk the hand away a bit. Rotate the chin in towards the shoulder. Release. Final stretch, take the arm up, place the other elbow right on the crook, and now lift the arms up. So we're separating through the shoulder blades here. Getting some really tight muscles in that upper back region, as well as muscles, believe it or not, that attach into the top vertebrae. Try to lift as high as you can, breathe. Lower, other elbow on top. Same thing. And release. We did it! Hey, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Now, a couple of things before you go. Subscribe to the channel if you like this workout and if you'd like to keep kicking it with me each week. Also, kick, click that notification bell so I can let you know when I drop a workout. And then second, drop a comment. I would love to hear from you. I love reading your comments. So drop a comment, subscribe, and then put a smile on your face and carry on with your day. See you later. And don't forget, stand tall and proud.